Welcome to Hobson Street where we are doing the burr strategy and although Poncho says the burr sucks, I only agree with him 90% of the time. I want people to understand the reason why I don't love the burr strategy is not because it doesn't work. The reason why I don't love the burr strategy is because you cannot pull out the majority of your money every single time. So let's take this house for example. Guys, this is a duplex in Mesa, Arizona and right next door we are also doing a fix and flip literally next door. How many times do you get projects next door to each other? One of them is going to be a fix and flip. See the link to that video down below. This deal is a Burr deal, which means we're going to buy it, which we already did. We bought it with myinvestorloan.com money. So if you guys are out there looking for lending, everybody always asks me, where do you get your loans? Where are you getting your Burr loans? Where are you getting this? Myinvestorloan.com, guys. It's where we get our temporary money for our fix and flip. It's where we get our permanent money for our long-term Burr deal. So myinvestorloan.com, link down below for that. So if you are doing the Burr or you're doing fix and flips, this is a great company to utilize. So check it out, it's a duplex. Each unit is a one bed, one bath with its own laundry unit. And what our strategy is here is we bought this from a homeowner for $210,000. The ARV on this deal is $400,000. So roughly we bought this deal 50 cents on the dollar, 50 cents on the dollar, and we still will have money tied up in this deal after we get a refinance because the Burr strategy is not for beginners. It requires credit, cash, credentials. In fact, we'll have two loans on this deal in order to get the strategy done. So teeny little bedroom, look at this. What do you think this is, Eric? Do you know what this is? Eric says it's termite, guys. We have termites in our new build. So this was a property we bought from a seller. We bought both properties. One is a duplex, and we're gonna put another duplex in the back once this thing is cash flowing. So here's what I don't like about this, and you guys need to be very, very aware of what happens with the Burr loans, is that, look at this little, we're gonna be done with this probably in two weeks, and then what we'll do is we'll go get a refinance. So here's how it works. Let me see if I can get a pen or a pencil. Hold on, a marker would be great. Oh yes, here we go. Here we go, this is what I'm talking about, boom. All right, so let's check it out. Here's the breakdown of this deal. So we bought the deal for $210,000. We used my investor loan for 90% of that purchase. So my investor loan gave us $185,000 roughly. So for the purchase of the property, we borrowed $185,000 from my investor loan and then we brought in a private money lender. One of our private money lenders gave us the down payment for this purchase. So they gave us $25,000 from a private money lender. We bought this with no money out of our pocket. The challenge with the Burr strategy is that this deal required my credit. I had to go out and get $185,000 from myinvestorloan.com. It does require a credit pull. And so we pulled our credit one time, got a loan for 90%. So I appreciate that about my investor loan. They gave us a lot of money. And then our renovation, let's pull this out. Cody gave me all the details on this. Can you tell I'm super involved? Okay, so our purchase price. Ooh, okay. So here's the challenge. Our original budget, this is a second reason why I don't like the Burr strategy. Okay. So the first reason I don't like the Burr strategy is how many loans you have to go through and the credit and the credentials and the requirements in order to obtain these loans. I'd much rather just buy a deal like this subject to fix and flip it and then refinance it and have a lot less loans and hard money across the path. The second reason why I don't love the Burr strategy is because our original budget was $55,000. The problem is because we've been in COVID land, two major problems have caused our original budget to go up. So one, the city of Mesa has caused major delays on permits here. We actually had to pull a permit in order to do this work because it was a complete gut job. And it took so many extra months for them that my loan was just eating away at me. Okay, and this happens all the time. Somebody on here that is a Burr strategy expert, guys, I probably do more Burr strategy deals than most Burr educators. We do between 20 and 30 of them a year. Most Burr educators don't do even half of that many. Okay, so when somebody tells me, oh, this is easy and your construction took too long, bullshit. This is the nature of construction. 
construction. You're not gonna beat that. So what happened is permits took a long time and the cost of materials went sky high because of COVID and the lack of materials being available. So our original budget went from 55,000 to 85,000. Welcome to construction. In fact, do you know how many projects I've ever had that hit their original budget and their original timeline? Maybe like 0%, none of them ever do. Okay, so our original timeline was four months. It's now 10 months. And the good thing is our ARV, our after repair value, $410,000. The original ARV when we bought it was 400. So the property actually went up $10,000 while we were waiting, which is somewhat of a benefit, but that doesn't counteract how much money it's cost us extra in time and cost of hard money. And also the renovation budget has gone through the roof because materials have become more expensive. So those are the two things that have been challenging on that. Now, once the property is done and renovated, we will then go get a loan for about 80% of the ARV, okay? So 80% of 410, let's pull that math out, 410 times 0.8. So we'll get a loan for roughly $328,000 on this deal, okay? So that $328,000, even though we bought it for 210 with an $85,000 budget, I'm still going to have money tied up in this deal. And somebody's gonna go, well, how is that possible? Come over and look at this. So if I go get a new loan for this property when we're all done and refinance, you'd say, okay, well, your original purchase price is 210,000 and your renovation budget was 85,000. So really these two numbers put together is $295,000. Pace, you should be able to pull out you know, roughly $32,000. You have $32,000 left over in order to pull that out. But the problem is that you're missing is that when we originally bought the property, we paid closing costs. So let's add that in there. You got another $4,000 in closing costs. The next thing that you have is that you have a private money lender, the person who loaned the down payment over here, right? This person that loaned this money to us and the person that loaned the construction budget to us, that has cost us also additional payments of about $6,000. Now, the other thing is that our hard money lender, right? my investor loan, there's going to be another set of payments to them for roughly $20,000. And then we've got another set of refinance fees and all sorts of miscellaneous things like landscape and architects and permits and all sorts of things that were not originally part of the budget. So in this deal, even though we bought it 50 cents on the dollar, we're still gonna have about $20,000 tied up in this deal. Now, that's a pretty good deal. Think about it. We bought it for 50 cents on the dollar. We did a renovation. Even though renovation costs went way high and the timeline went way high, we still are gonna refinance it out, right? We're gonna get a new loan that wipes out all the other loans. And that loan is only gonna require us to have about $20,000 left in the deal. Now, how much are we gonna make? Right here, check it out. This property will bring in four to $4,500 per month. Our original loan amount was gonna be $1,500 a month, which would have given us roughly $2,500 to $3,000 a month every single month in cash flow, okay? Before expenses and management and all that kind of stuff. That's pretty good. On this little teeny one bed, one bath, and there's another one bed, one bath. The problem is because of the recent rate hikes, the new rate hikes have gone up, our new payment on this deal is no longer $1,500. Our new payment is $2,500 for the same exact loan. So now now we're gonna make between $1,500 and $2,500 per month. So let's talk about this. Another reason why I don't love the birth strategy is that it is contingent upon the Fed and it's contingent upon the rates that you have no control over. So if you're caught in a project that takes a long time, your payment on your Burr loan could go up literally $1,000, which is what just happened to us on this deal. Luckily, we negotiated a wonderful deal and we are still going to make $1,500 to $2,500 per month in cash flow, gross cash flow, by the way, it's not net. We'll probably net somewhere around $500 to $1,000 a month on this deal. Think about that. I had no control over that. I had no control over the city. I had no control over material costs. I have no control over the rate hikes going up. If I didn't buy this for 50 cents on the dollar, any other novice investor would have had their asses handed to them. And so the reason why I don't love the birth strategy is because it works, but it does not work for new investors. If you're a new investor and you're trying to get into real estate, the birth strategy is better if you go partner with somebody, somebody that has experience like me, or maybe a Brandon Turner on Bigger Pockets, or Tarl Yarber, or some of these other people that you see all over so social media, like Thatch Wynn talks about Burr strategy all the time. Go partner with him. Do not try and do Burr strategy deals on your own. It is not for the faint of heart. We bought this property 50 cents on the dollar and we are barely walking out of this thing with only $20,000. It could have been way, way worse. So guys, we're gonna go over to the other side of the building and I'm gonna show you also where we're gonna build a duplex in the back. If you're liking what you're learning, please make a comment down below. Make sure you've subscribed, hit the notification bell. It does mean a lot. I've got Eric right here and myself out here sweating our freaking cojones off to provide value to you guys. Nobody broke 
broke this stuff down for me when I was brand new. Nobody would like sit down, just pull out a marker and give me the education that I needed to understand like how much did you buy it for? Where did it come from? Oh, by the way, where did this deal come from? Startvirtual.com. That's a virtual assistant company that we use. Startvirtual.com. Link is down below. They do the cold calling guys and they generate leads like this. We bought two houses right next to each other on Hobson, which is dope. So they generated the lead. We came out, we closed the deal. We met with the seller in person. We got a loan from myinvestorloan.com. The title company that handled the transaction is complete title and escrow. And we got our gap funding from a private money lender. And as you can see, honestly, like most of the stuff we buy is just from like Home Depot. We have a 30% discount. We just get our shit from Home Depot and light fixtures and handles from Amazon. This is not rocket science. It's actually like super simple. And then also we will manage this Airbnb ourselves. We manage half of our Airbnbs ourselves. And then we also have another manager named Noah Hoffman that manages the other Airbnbs for us, half of them. But let's go over and take a look at the other part of the property. So the reason why this property will do so well in terms of monthly income, one side will do 2,200, the other side will do 2,200. These are just one bedroom little units. It's because of the location so close to the Mesa temple and everything in downtown Mesa. Most of the materials we use guys are just box cabinets from Home Depot or Lowe's. They turn out to be the cheapest. We get so many cabinet companies that are like, we're cheaper than Home Depot. No, you're not. Home Depot gives us incredible prices. So come take a look at this. We did all new plumbing, all new electrical, which is great. And as you guys can see, we have a second unit here, which I won't give you the full tour of the second unit, but we've got a whole other unit right here. So both sides combined will bring in $4,500 a month. But here's the great thing about this property. This property has a massive yard and this property is zoned for four units. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build another duplex right here that will also bring in another $4,500 per month. And now when we go refinance all of that, ooh, I think Anna's here. Let's see if Anna's here. I think she's here. Yeah, that's Anna. Check this out. So this is Anna Martina. She's been with me for what, eight, eight years? years? Lovely human being. She's actually going out on her own soon. Yeah and she's gonna be an entrepreneur, so give her congrats in the comments down below. Thank you guys. You're here for what? Check in on the guys, and I have a virtual inspection with the hard money lender. Okay, so our hard money lender, myinvestorloan.com, allows Anna, what do they do, a video or just photos? Yeah, FaceTime. Oh, you do FaceTime? Yep. So they make it that easy? They make it that easy. Okay, so our lender will continually give us money for these projects, and the way that they give us money for the projects is Anna comes out, FaceTimes them, shows them progress, and then they release more money to us. That's pretty simple. Basic. And you have an inspection here today or Correct. no? Correct, yeah. With City Mesa? City of Mesa already happened with the lender today. So Mesa's we're good done. to close up all the drywall. We're good to close up, that's fine. Amazing, okay, cool. So let me just show you guys this property real quick. So what's great is that that same lender, my investor loan that Anna's doing an inspection on this property. Remember, these are two separate properties, two separate addresses. This is a fix and flip here. And what we just walked through is a bird deal that we're gonna end up keeping in the portfolio. But what's great is that my investor loan already knows the project. They know that we're gonna do another duplex back here. So they're gonna give us another construction loan on top of our loan to start building a duplex while these first two units are already cash flowing. So it's pretty dope. What I really want you guys to understand on Burr deals is that these are not for the faint of heart. You're contingent upon construction costs, which everybody's you know contingent upon construction costs, and you're contingent upon permits and all those types of things. But as those things rise and all the timeline associated with the permits rise as well, having your interest rate nearly double in three or four months is something that will annihilate and kill your deal. So if you guys are doing the Burr strategy, Strategy, the smart thing to do is partner with people who are fast, quick, efficient, and can buy really cheap deals. We bought this deal 50 cents on the dollar. That's how we got out of this deal alive, even in the midst of all the inflation and all of the interest rates going up. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, you learned a couple of things, tell me what you guys learned down in the comments and what you guys wanna know more about so that we can bring higher level value to you in the future. Later.